Hello everyone and welcome back to hopefully the last episode of this RimWorld campaign. Here you can see it, the uh, SS, help us please. Our wonderful starship that's really weird looking. But yeah, we've got all the crypto sleep caskets built and while we were filling them we found out, oh shit, yeah, they actually do take power. So I guess it's time we uh, finish this up. We're currently mining the requisite plastil here, much as we can. We're hoping to get some more maybe here and most of all we hope for components because by god that shit's really really necessary at the moment. So what do you have? Well they have components. That's basically most of what we needed already. That's basically it. Um, let's check though uh, anything else they have. That's almost on joints. No need for them to go bad right? They can't even go bad. I have no idea about this subject matter. Um, sure, that's basically already it. Um, wait, you do have some meat, so... Let's take the meat. And the chocolate. Okay, that works. Um, done. So, all components. That's priority number one. And you go and haul me some of the meat. Okay, um, you're hauling them to a stockpile zone. Why don't you go ahead and haul them to a reactor instead? Okay, we're getting there, bit by bit. Uh, someone's idle. That's Blizzard. Why are you idle? Because this up here is still being used, Jesus Christ. She's really going at it right now. I mean, that's good for us. No question. And now we get another fucking raid. Are you kidding me? Okay, are they going... Okay, they'll run straight into our trading friends. Really now? Really now? Really now? That can't be how it ends. Oh boy. Okay, let's see how many people we can actually get inside still. This is bad. Nat, you should not sleep there probably. Oh boy. Come on. Okay, uh, didn't it last time show me we didn't have enough power? I may have misunderstood something about this game from time to time. So I guess let's fuck right off. They killed our chicken. God damn it. Okay, come on guys. In we go. It's time we leave. Come on, Blizzard. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it still tells me we have enough right now, so... Well!
You've launched the ship! These colonists escaped. Castillo, Kat, Camisa, Q, Blizzard, Garrett, Chogo, Nat and Wola. None were left behind. UA will now guide your ship to the safe place. Prosperous planet in the system, undertake centuries long journey to another star, whatever. Ah, uh, oh, okay, we can't scroll actually. Uh, UA will now try to guide the ship to a safe place. Might find a prosperous planet for you in this system. Or it may undertake a centuries long journey to another star. It might even decide to hide under ice on an asteroid for a few thousand years, waiting for someone to build a new glitter world here. You'll find out when you wake up. Boy, that feels good. And it's hilarious how much I misunderstood near the end there. To me it looked like the crypto sleep caskets were actually taking power of their own and required uh, additional reactors, so yeah, that's why I call the old episode. Enjoy the good music, guys! Oh man. Man, there's a lot of translators. <laughs> that sounds like a good spot to get back in. Good, so. We escaped as the tribes people were running in. Sadly, sadly, we had to leave behind Ollie. He was with us from day one. He was a good husky. Good boy. He actually still avenged our colony there. He killed one. Our exploding turret killed another one. The traders, they've just stood by and watched. Man, those are some douchebags. But hey, we got them. <laughs> In the end, we got them. They were letting the crazy people run in, try to murder us all, and probably hoping to raid our colony, uh, basically with all us left. Raiders didn't have much to carry, but hey, they had some muffalos. Lots of places to store shit, right? But hey, just as they were breaking through the walls, rushing in, the tribes people, our ship took off. So that's our colony. We started out small, we built some housing, I believe these here were the first ones. Just nestled into the mountainside here. We expanded slowly. A hundred podniks, our crafting houses, our first big stockpile, which was later segregated into frozen stockpile and other stockpile. Our barn. The hospital, the common room with the science station, the food freezer near the end, the outer walls, specifically made just for defense because wood burns easily, as we will soon see. Lots of farms, very tightly clustered. We reached out far for the geothermal, for the power, we dug through the mountains like madmen. We uncovered two hidden dangers. Two. I kind of would have liked in retrospect to check out what's behind here. But hey, yeah. Rooster 2 has been stabbed to death. <laughs> now that they lost humans to kill, the tribes will need to murder our poor, poor animals. Might be better for these creatures in the end, considering uh, they are left alone on a hostile planet with panthers and wargs and all manner of other deadly creatures. The fire is spreading down here. Let's see how far it actually can spread. <laughs> They're still trying to kill all our chicken. kind of hilarious. Okay, so yeah, um, 
What can I say? Campaign's over, guys. Short video. It was a ton of fun having you around. I thank everyone who's watched up to this point. Uh, props to you guys and girls. Uh, you are the people that make this channel great. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts about the campaign. Let me know what you think. And hey, Castillo, you survived all the way. Not like last time. Same for Garrett. You two were there from start to finish. A couple of people died. A lot more survived. Life is good. And now you can watch as they slowly destroy everything we worked so hard for. Prisoner room, obviously the first one to break. They went in, they saw the prison shackles on the beds and they decided to burn it all. Now the crafting, where the beer was produced. I think they should have every chick killed by now. Yep. Looks like they're all dead. Or dying. Oh wait, there's actually a uh, hen number 8 here. There we go, fire is spreading. Let's see how long it takes for them to be consumed by their own flames. Hopefully not too long. I want to see it. There we go, the crafting station is vastly ablaze here. Man, they really hate all our stuff. Sheer random violence. Come on, you should be burning. There we go. Sadly, it's raining right now. The tribe's people are leaving, as are the traders. Together they saw that they started a fire they cannot tame anymore. And as everything burns that is made of wood, they leave. At long last. We survived. Let's see how far the fire guts our entire base here. Sadly, it's raining. If it weren't raining, the fire could spread crazy far. So yeah, that's gonna be it, guys. Again, let me know what you think about the campaign. I thoroughly enjoyed it. There were some very tense moments. I went uh, balls to the walls quite a lot more than I uh, expected that I have to. Especially with the uh, one mechanoid uh, landing, I think, somewhere down here. Where I basically just got everyone nearby and started shooting them like crazy. It did work out. And yeah, as Ollie slowly dies, I thank you again for watching. Hope you've had some fun. Remember to comment, like and subscribe. And see you soon.